at two or three, they're always at two or three percent. And if I just do this, they're going <laughs> to buy tomorrow, right? They're going to buy the end of the month Absolutely. so I can hit my quota. And that's my goal is to make that happen where, you know, they might be under contract for another year, but sure. you're not going to get that deal this year. But if you don't start working it with the expectation of that hitting a year from now, you're never going to hit it anyway. I mean, you're never going to close that deal. It's a sure. long sell cycle. You, you have to take take in consideration, uh, you know, the, the processes and contracts and, and whatever other inter, buy, internal buyer uh, buyer issues or processes, whatever you want to call it, right? Challenges there is because it, because it, it's it's a challenge, and it's something that that you might not be able to overcome that obstacle. You have to work with it. Yeah. You have to work with it and accept the fact that maybe it's a 12 month buying cycle with this one customer and that's your 12 month. And then you go focus on deals that you can close right now. It, it, absolutely. And I think that's the key, Kevin, is making sure that every channel is as full as every uh, all the other channels, right? If I just rely on outbound or if I just rely on word of mouth and referrals or if I just rely on inbound, I'm screwed. Uh, and, and that goes for anybody that's in a longer sales cycle. You know, if I look at the deals that we closed in 2021, you know, you have a slew of deals that maybe took three years. You have some that took a month. You have some that took six months. And, you know, it takes time to build a mature pipeline like that and be able to be patient and understand that I don't have to call you, get you on a demo or get you on a discovery, get you on a demo, send a proposal. And, and slam this deal in in 30 days, a lot of times that's just not realistic. But what a lot of people do is they forget, okay, well, I mean, you go on to the next one. I'm happy to take three years to sign an account because when they sign eventually, they're gonna be a customer forever. And I have three years to build my case and to build my value and to allow you to know when the time's right, you're gonna remember, damn, that Mike guy, he reached out to me once a quarter, I heard his voice, he was in my ear, now we're ready. And then when they're ready, it comes down to a few things. Are you an expert in your space? Does your product actually solve a problem that they have? And can you articulate your value in a real way that's easy for them to understand?